Fall is a beautiful time of year. The trees change colors, but the leaves fall fast. Raking leaves, that's no fun. Neither is picking them up. But when the leaves fall, one city gets busy. Can you tell? They're working hard. Today, I was following the importance of providing this program. Dennis Galvin sits on his riding mower. The leaves fall around him. It's not easy keeping up with collecting them. This is about the third time today. It's probably the 50th time this year. That's a lot of work. Canfield commits to cooperating. Residents just have to get the leaves to the street edge. City crews take over from there. It's hard work, but having power equipment helps to take the leaves away. It's important for our residents. Obviously, you see the vast amount of leaves that are around town. They would be required to probably bag those, find somewhere to dispose them. Leaf pickup starts in October with one crew in the city. At this point, with the leaves falling fast, it takes two crews to keep up. It's funny, the leaves fall off the trees only to get stacked back up again. This pile right here, ah, it's about 10 to 12 feet high here at the Canfield Fairgrounds. Canfield collects roughly 450 to 500 loads of leaves in the fall. It adds up to 8,500 cubic yards of leaves. They're added to ones from Canfield Township. They hire someone to grind the leaves and they get recycled into topsoil. Oh, it's a wonderful, it's a wonderful service. We came from Erie, Pennsylvania, and they didn't provide it. We had to pick up our own leaves and burn them or, or find a way to get rid of them. So, Keeping leaves out of storm drains is important since they contain phosphorus and nitrogen, which can hurt water quality. Canfield has been named a Tree City USA by the Arbor Day Foundation in honor of its commitment to effective urban forest management. Canfield takes leaf pickup just as seriously. Like everything you see in Canfield, people do it with pride, whether it's you know setting up for the 4th of July parade or, or participating in the annual leaf collection. The city used to split the leaf pickup with a private vendor, but this year decided to do it alone. The city manager told me that saved the city $40,000.